closed tray technique using the indirect scoop coping. Read the laser marking on the top of the healing abutment to verify the platform size, emergence, and collar height of the abutment. Remove the healing abutment and confirm that the prosthetic platform is free of any bone or soft tissue debris. Select the indirect scoop coping that matches the emergence and platform size of the healing abutment. Place the indirect scoop coping on the implant body and secure using the included screw. Block out the hex hole on the top of the indirect scoop coping screw. Syringe medium or heavy body material around and over the indirect scoop coping. Load the impression tray with material and make the impression. Once the impression material has set, remove the impression tray. Remove the indirect scoop coping and replace the healing abutment immediately to prevent the soft tissue from collapsing over the implant. Attach the appropriate diameter implant analog to the indirect scoop coping using the coping screw. Index the coping into the impression by inserting the coping assembly into the corresponding location in the impression. Send the impression to the lab. Verify that the coping and analog are assembled and seated properly. Syringe soft tissue replica material around the analog. Fabricate a working model using minimal expansion, high hardness dye stone. Articulate the model according to normal laboratory procedures. 